good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. I have a really bad thunderstorm going outside. Normally that's white noise, but since I'm in the apartment, that means my power can go out. So there's always the plus and minus. Uh, if I'm if I'm in the building, I have my own solar power. The power can go out everywhere in the world. I still have electricity, but there's so much white noise you can't hear me. And in the apartment, there's no white noise, but there is the possible risk of my internet going out any minute. So I'm recording this. If this goes dark for any reason, if I just drop off the, the map, you guys in the chat, just reply, because everybody will say, where did he go? And you say, I've been here since he explained that he might go offline because of the internet. I've been taking crazy pills. I feel like, let me hit my button. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. I feel like I'm probably in a coma and I'm gonna wake up in the year 2034 and men are all working the mines and the feminist AI is running the government. You guys know I've been doing a lot of odd man out videos over here and I've also been doing a couple better bachelor videos as things you know pop up. And I, I swear it's almost like I'm in a, a fever dream because now AOC is calling people incels and Ben Shapiro is talking about men simping and J.D. Vance, the Republican nomination, nominated uh, vice president that's gonna be running for VP here in November is talking about cat ladies and wine moms. And I'm like, what is going, I, that's my fever dream. It's like my politics and my, my men's channel are coming together and I'm having a fever dream. But I am telling you, I am telling you that it's all coming together. It's all one in the same. Here's what I'm talking about with the, with the crazy pill stuff, right? So I wake up and I make this thumbnail. It's leftists call men weird incels for being masculine and traditional. And then I make this um, I make this uh, thumbnail. Why smart men are avoiding most women because thirsty men ruined all of them. And then I, and then as I'm getting ready to record something, Ben Shapiro comes out and he's like, "White, he's talking about simp's." And I'm like, "What is going?" So for those of you. On YouTube, this will be a bunch of separate videos. I'm just gonna upload them all individually. Here, we're gonna go through all of it, all of it, all in one, because we're one big happy family, and you guys can sit more than five minutes because you don't have ADD, and you can sit through a video. So we're gonna start. This could have really gone onto either channel, and that's the, like, do I put this on my news channel? Do I put it on my, my men's channel? But this does kind of affect men, because for a long time, we're shamed that for being incels and that we're weird incels, we're shamed. And then in the same breath or just about the same breath from different people of the Democrat party, uh, they say, well, you know who, who needs to vote for Democrats? You know who, who needs to support us? Weird incels. <laughs> Wait, you just called us names and then you're asking us to vote for you? Uh, I just, man, whatever. <laughs> from the post, from the post millennial. I'm gonna be laughing a lot through this because if I don't laugh a lot through this, I'm I'm going to hari kari just because uh, that's too nuts, and we're just, we've still got months to go we, and so crazy. Uh, from the post uh, post millennial AOC claims family first MAGA movement are weird incels, as Kamala campaign takes to aim, it takes aim at white men, but not in a bad way. They take aim at wanting white men to do the white men for, for Kamala and vote for her. So one hand of the party's like, we hate you, you weirdos. And the other side's like, yes, we hate you and you're weird, but also please vote for us. So which ones end up voting for the Kamala campaign? <laughs> the weird ones, the, the weird incidents. <laughs> this is so stupid. I can't believe I'm in front of a camera talking about this stupidity that our world is in. If you understand why I'm losing brain cells, now you understand because I have to troll through this crap for you guys. Um, AOC, okay, let me just read this crap. <laughs> In a Monday post to X rep, uh, okay, let me try that again. In a Monday post to X rep, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Alexandria Occasional Cortex claimed the GOP has an incel platform adding that it's super weird. Being obsessed with rep repressing women is goofy. 
Trying to watch what the LGHD TV community do all the time is abnormal. Uh, pushing, punishing people who don't have biological offspring is creepy. It's an incel platform, dude. O occasional Cortex wrote, it's super weird and people need to know. So first of all, yes, we notice what the LGHD TV is doing because they cram it down our throat in movies, in music, in, in politics, in the Olympics, in absolutely everything. And if you guys are a better bachelor, make sure to jump over to my news channel, Odd Man Out News, because I talk about uh, their opening evening and all the, the crazy debacle of that stuff. Uh, I think it was quite an interesting video. So she's calling us names, saying it's weird that we're noticing the thing they're throwing in our face. It's weird that we're noticing that women don't want to get married, are single, are sleeping around, are on only fools all the time. It's weird that we notice. It's not weird that it's happening. It's not bad. It's weird that we actually, our eyes are opening and we notice these things. Uh, there, there's her tweet. And this was in response to uh, okay, okay, occasional Cortex's post came in response to one former uh, GOP primary candidate, Vivek Ramaswamy, who said this whole their weird argument from the Democrats is dumb and juvenile. This is a presidential election, not a high school prom queen contest. It's also a tad ironic coming from the party that preaches diversity and inclusion. Win on policy if you can, but cut the crap, please. And he is right. You know, if you look at it, the White House has had men in dresses at the White House, um, you know, the men pretending to be women. They had one dude that had the implants jumping and covering himself in front of the White House. They had another dude that was bald that was in charge of like nuclear energy. And then if we notice that, AOC is like, you have a problem because you notice this all the time. My dudes, you're cramming it down our throat 24 seven. And for you to call us weird because we're traditional men, we're masculine men, we're calling out your bad actions. You wanna call us weird for that? I don't, wait, where's my? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Um, Senator Brian, uh, Schatz, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, said in a Sunday post, assigning extra votes to certain people based on the size of their family is weird. Banning library books is weird. Government being in people's bedrooms is weird. Government being in the exam room is weird. Saying weird is not a schoolyard taunt, it's weird. Okay, government being in the exam room, um, there's a federal, like we do have a federal, you know, teachers union. I mean, it is federalized. So the gov you guys wanted the government in the school classrooms. So, okay, fine. Get rid of the, get rid of the, the federal, elect uh, federal school board system. I'm fine with that. Government being in people's bedroom is weird. No, you guys doing parades that is NSFW and we have to put blurs over everything just to put it on Twitter or have it on YouTube to talk about it. That's weird for a parade that's out in public marching down the main street banning library books that are teaching kids weird stuff and, and inappropriate things, that's weird. Assigning extra votes to certain people based on the size of their family? No, it's called the census, and they get to represent their entire family because all of them are citizens, unlike other people that are counted as, uh, on the census that are not citizens. That's weird. See, they're trying to flip it on the head and come back at us like we're the weird ones. That's, that's, that's the, that's the, what do you call it? Um, when they had the, like the freak shows, right? The freak shows that went along, traveling freak shows along with the fair. That's like those people calling normal people in a suit and tie, the weirdos, as you're a 400 pound bearded lady, you know, with a, I don't know, a little person on your lap or whatever. Like, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Yes, your lefty weirdos may like this. Yes, the LGHD TV. Yes, the cat and wine moms may love this. They may eat it up. But normal sane people don't care. We don't care. You can call us weird all you want, but we know the truth of the matter. Um, H Hillary Clinton gets in on this, guys. Can you believe Hillary Clinton is in on the weird incel stuff? <laughs> like, what? what are we doing? Uh, Hillary Clinton says if Republican leaders don't enjoy being called weird, creepy, controlling, they could not be weird, creepy, and controlling. Do you see the merging 
This is why I, I in my argument, in my argument, you cannot be both pro man, masculine, for masculinity, for men being leaders, uh, for men being the strong ones, for men being the the providers. You can't be pro that and Democrat because they hate you if you're you know traditional and masculine. They hate you. And if you say, I'm really red pill, but I'm a Democrat, the two don't go together. My dude, they hate you. Stop. Just walk away. They hate you. Uh, the ex account for the Democrat Party wrote, Donald Trump is old and weird. I don't know. Where are they coming up with this weird crap? And he's younger than Biden, who you guys were just literally, literally licking the boots of 15 hot minutes ago. Adding a clip of Trump speaking at a rally taken out of context in the portion the rally speech referenced Trump and whatever. I don't want to get into the politics part of it, but it's unavoidable when your government leaders are now walking around calling people simps and incels and weirdos. Like how do you, you can't separate the two. This is why Breitbart once famously said, um, you know, the so, like politics is downstream from culture and our culture is now simping. Our culture is incels. Our culture is LGHD TV. Our culture is single cat moms and, and wine moms that don't have any kids that are screaming how happy they are at 50 while they qu quietly cry in their pillow at night because they have no friends and they don't have any kids and the rest of it. And, and guys, again, guys are okay with this stuff. Like we, you know, maybe you'll save a couple hundred thousand dollars and surrogate a kid, whatever. Maybe you'll fly over to Thailand at the tender age of 55 and start pumping out kids with a 23 year old hottie, you know, LBFM. We have ways to cope with this. The women don't, and that they're gonna be in deep struggle. But, but like, is this a politic thing? Not really, because they're specifically a, making fun of men. They're specifically making fun of white dudes. They're specifically making fun of masculinity and the rest of it. So how do you, how do you get away from that? The, they say the exchange came as vice president candidate J.D. Vance has come under fire by def Democrats, le uh, left-wing outlets for comments made in recent years with media outlets leaving out the context of his statement. He said, why do we let the Democrat party be controlled by people who don't have children? Vance further, further explained on Tucker Carlson's show, what I'm basically saying is that we're effectively run, we're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made and want to make the rest of the country miserable too. If I said that statement as Joker on Better Bachelor, feminists would be furious with me and many of you'd be like right on dude like yeah definitely these ladies vote for you know democrats and leftists and the craziness and they want all the craziness and they're a bunch of single childless cat ladies who are miserable with their own lives and the choices they made and all i'd have to do is attach the word like maybe hypergamy or um alpha uh, alpha widow and you'd be like yeah i'm in a red pill community this dude is running for the vice president of the United States. Do you understand why I say there's going to be less better bachelor content and more news? Because the the whole man's thing, manosphere, red pill, you know, men being masculine and being made fun of and being put down and women are strong and wonderful and can't do anything and all the rest of it, it's it's mainstream. Now you've got government officials talking like red pill content creators. That's what's so weird about this. And AOC you calling people incels. That's our word. And she took it and she's using it. And this is such a win, guys. This is such a win. It means that our thoughts and our ideas of single cat lady, and it doesn't matter what you think of Trump or AOC or, or um, J.D. Vance or whatever, that doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. The point is, these are our terms being red pill, used to mean being conservative. Now that red pill is being tied in with the manosphere red pill, meaning being awake, seeing the world, how it really is. Those two have almost become the same meaning. We sitting on our channels and our content talking about how these childless cat ladies were miserable with their own lives 
and the choices they made, and they wanna make the rest of us miserable. We literally talk about that, and here you have the guy that's running for VP saying the same thing. We talk about incels and simps, and now you've got um, Ben Shapiro and AOC and these other politicos talking about it. This is crazy, and it's such a good thing because it means we're now, we've now penetrated everything. Men's content is content. Men's issues are issues. They're issues that are gonna be voted on now in the election. Granted, the marriage stuff and the divorce stuff isn't, but you know, you gotta take the little wins where you can get them. And so now it's, it's moved into the zeitgeist. We're out there. And I've said many times over the last two years, we're becoming, we're moving because first it starts with Tim Pool, and then it starts with Ben Shapiro's, and then people that listen to whoever, us and other channels, it just keeps growing almost like mushrooms. Like you go to bed, there's nothing there, and the next day you wake up and you're like, holy crap, it's everywhere. That's what's happened. And, and it's why, it's why many of us in the men's content world could be like, you know what, job done. I'm gonna work on another project. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna see what else is out there that I, maybe I can talk about and share. And that I talk about financing and all that stuff on uh, to you guys here on, on the live stream. We talk about it right here on Rumble. We talk about it on Locals. On YouTube, I just branched it off. But at some point, it's gonna be such common speech that if you wanna talk about men's issues, you're also talking about elections. You're also talking about you know, what, what's happening in Venezuela. You're also talking about the Olympics and you're talking about collapse and it, it all ties in because it's all weak men. It's all missing men. It's all feminized men that are creating these other problems. So, so definitely take this as a win that we've, we've made it. Like, this is great. Um, people are posting this online uh, because they keep calling J.D. Vance weird and Republicans weird. And here's a picture of all the crazy weirdos uh, assumed with the Democrats or tied to the Democrats and they're share, sharing this stuff. And they're like, yeah, okay, we're weird. You, got, you guys get it. This is a, such a win. So you guys get it. AOC is now calling us uh, just a bunch of names, but primarily incels and weird because we're not on their side. So remember this. Remember this, because in 10 seconds, I'm literally gonna be bringing up a video with Ben Shapiro in it on how he tells you, or he's sharing, that Kamala Harris wants the weird incels to vote for her. But also, you're bad, but also please vote for us. We're, we, we live in clown world, that's all I need to say. Mm -hmm.